Welcome to the very first video of the Learn by Doing series. Now in this video, we will be creating a project template, which will be used as a starting point for the future Learn by Doing series courses. Go ahead and open up your Epic Games Launcher. Now I'll be using 5.1 at this point. Obviously there will be new versions in the future, but I don't expect to be any large changes to the process that we're about to do. So go ahead and launch your Unreal Engine 5 version. Now that your Unreal Engine 5 is launched, let's go over to the game section and we'll create a blank project. And I've already set up my project location and also the project name. Let's keep the name LBD template or anything you like, but call it template because you'll be copying and pasting this project file and renaming it and you open that and that's how we start any of our courses. So let's go ahead and create. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt the video for a second here because if your layout looks different to mine and if you don't know how to change it, simply you need to go to window and go all the way down to load layout and choose the UE4 classic layout. Now this is what I prefer. If you're okay with the default one in UE5, then you can stick with that as long as you can follow the course. Once your Unreal Editor opens, we will first turn off real time because my computer is going crazy right now. So go ahead and do that. And we will first create a new level. So go to File, New Level, and we'll create an empty level, Create, and we need to save this map, so go ahead and click Save. And we'll create a new folder inside the content browser. Right click, new folder, underscore MAP for map. Let's go ahead and go into the map folder. And for the name, we'll just call it MAP underscore one and save. The next thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and create a new folder. Let's do a control shift N and we'll call this folder underscore BP for blueprints. Now in the blueprints, we're going to create a new folder again, right click, new folder, we're gonna call this underscore game mode. Let's dive into the folder and we'll right click to create a blueprint class. First one's gonna be the game mode base. Let's call it BP underscore game mode base. And then we'll right click again to create a blueprint class. Next one is going to be a pawn, BP underscore pawn empty. And double click into the game mode base. And we'll assign the pawn that we just created over in the default pawn class. Go ahead and select BP pawn empty. We're going to compile and save. We're going to close and we will file and save all to get rid of the unsaved mark. Now we will go over to the project settings and go to maps and modes. The first thing we're going to set up is the default game mode. We will set our own game mode base that we created called BP game mode base. And then for the editor startup map and the game default map, we will select the map one, just like that. And if you see all these uh, extra maps that is not in your project folder, that's because your engine content is selected here. So disable that and that'll show you only your map in your project folder. Now go ahead and click the all settings and we're going to search for auto exposure and we're going to disable that. And the next thing we're going to disable is the texture streaming. Disable that. And we're done here, so let's go ahead and clear this out. And we'll go over to the editor preferences. And I like to set up my asset editor open location to main window. So anytime you open a new blueprint or materials, they will automatically dock over here rather than a brand new window, which will go on top of your main editor window. So that's about it. And go back to map one. 
Lastly, we're going to put in our level the things that we always expect that we're going to use, which is first the Cine Camera Actor. Go ahead and drag that in and just zero it out. And then look for next directional light. Drag that in. Clear this out. And we'll also zero this out. And we will do movable. And set the intensity down to 1. And the final component will be a cube. So go over to shapes. Drag in a cube. We will use this as a 4. Go ahead and zero this out. We're going to set the mobility to movable and we will scale it up to 10 by 10 by 1. And then we will translate it down minus 50 in Z. And let's go ahead and save. Basically, this is how we will begin our Learn by Doing series. And I am looking forward to seeing you in the very first season one, which should already be out right now.